Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for your patience with me getting these readings out. I understand that we're already in March, but um, the energies have been really rough lately and there are a lot of uh, uh, readers out there that have been experiencing the similar, similar circumstances. So thank you for tuning in and thank you for your patience. So we are going to be a, doing your reading for March 2019. Um, so this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can do that at divine underscore conversations. And if you would like to, uh, to give me a like on Facebook, you can do that at Divine Conversations 2711. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. If you're new to the channel, welcome. But if you are uh, returning to the channel, then you know what I mean. I am obviously other than recording it so that, you know, we can look at each other and we can have a nice little conversation. Um, I'm going to be pulling an oracle card first to get the general theme of the energies for your month. And then I'm going to moving, be moving forward with the freestyle reading that I normally do for the monthly zodiacs. Um, and I'm using, I'm still using the, you know, the unicorn tarot and the golden, uni uh, not sorry, the unicorn oracle and the golden universal tarot for this. Okay. So let's get to it. Oh, wait, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for March 2019. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys, let's see what we've got for you. I feel bubbly. I also feel a pain in like my shoulder and my back here. I don't know. Some, see, I, I feel bubbly energy, light and bubbly energy, but I feel like someone out there is super stressed and it's like really strong right now. It really hurts, <laughs> but hopefully we can get some insight into that stress here for you, Libra. But otherwise, I mean, your energy feels light and bubbly, which is nice and fun. Um, let's see what your Oracle card is for Libra, please for your month of March. What do we have for you, Libra? Let's try that one more time. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. There we go. Sanctuary. Okay. So yeah, someone out there is stressed, super stressed. We have sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. Looks like there's some Librans out there that need some self care. Yeah. Um, whatever that means for you. If you, I feel like some, someone really wants to go on a vacation, maybe has been, um, debating it, has been kind of putting it off. Don't put it off any longer. Schedule that trip, plan that vacation, plan that trip. I mean, you deserve it, you know, but, but Libra, I really feel like March is going to be a time in which you need to take some time for yourself. All right, there's some serious stress going on in the world somewhere for you, Libra. And it's time to mitigate that stress. It's time for you to really start looking at what it is that's stressing you out and doing something about it, okay? Um, I do feel like there's a lot of energy right now of for you, Libra, of um, wanting to be of service to people. And I feel like that's where a lot of your stress is coming from constantly doing things for others and not leaving enough, enough time to, you know, practice self-care or to be there for yourself. And you can't be there for others as effectively as you want to be if you're not there for yourself, if you're not taking care of number one first. All right. So it's time to do that, Libra. Take a vacation. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we have in the, the tarot for you. All righty. Here we go, Libra. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you. Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the good news is that the worst is behind you. Um, although for some of you, I feel like the worst hasn't quite come yet. I feel like this situation 
This could be something that's coming on down the road. So, okay, that is a bit of relief. I th whatever, whatever stress, whatever challenges you've been facing lately, I feel like they're about to come to, the e to an end if they haven't done so already, okay? And it's interesting because when I was looking at this sanctuary card here, I was feeling like this is kind of resonating with what Virgo has been going through. And I just did their reading. So you might wanna check it out. Maybe there's Virgo in your chart. Um, somewhere or maybe you've been dealing with a virgo or you're a virgo that's cross watching for a libra blah what not whatever it doesn't matter um but it might resonate with you because virgo got the ten of swords in their over and overall energy as well it wasn't the first card that came out but they did get it okay ten of swords is coupled with oh the ten of cups wow oh my god that's beautiful six of swords and the ace of pentacles all right, a new work opportunity could be coming on down the line for you. Some of you actually, you're stressed maybe from work and um, you're in a situation in which you no longer wanna be there. Um, you know, it's been a rough and tumble situation. It might be a really toxic environment full of a bunch of narcissism. Um, and so I see, what I'm seeing here is you moving on from that or at least gearing up to move on for it, making the decision to move from that to what would be more fulfilling for you in the form of the 10 of cups. I do feel like this is a little bit of an, uh, uh, an energies of learning through contrast here for you. Um, you have, or at least you are in the process, if you haven't gotten there already, of gaining a greater understanding of what would truly be um, fulfilling for you through understanding what is really not fulfilling for you, okay? So that doesn't mean you have the full idea of what you wanna be doing yet. Some of you do, or some of you, some of you already do, but some of you may not yet, and that's okay. The, uh, the, the, the situation or the, what's necessary here is to start moving. Get moving, okay? Get moving in a direction that would be more fulfilling for you. Um, take some time away to meditate, to rest, to heal in order to understand what it is that, what direction it is you want to be moving in. The Ace of Pentacles could also be talking about a new relationship coming forward. Someone offering you some sort of commitment potentially, okay? But also I'm seeing this Ace of Pentacles is offering yourself a new commitment and maybe honoring yourself more. That's nice. That is a form of self-care too. So getting into the fuller, the, the deeper energies here, first row is going to be labeled as the first half of your month, second row is the second half of your month. But keep in mind that energies are fluid, time is an illusion, so it does not have to be that. The only way, the only reason that I, the only real reason why I'm using it to classify that is just so that we have a little bit more structure so we don't necessarily get confused. But keep in mind that it does not have to be, it, it, it could, these things, whatever's coming out here could happen at any moment in the month, okay? If it resonates with you. This is a general reading, guys. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? First set of surrounding energies, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, walking away, man. I mean, damn. It's high time though. It is high time for some of you that you got to step in because this is just not a healthy situation, okay? Now, often what I, what I do like to say about the Eight of Cups is that someone is walking away from these neatly stacked Eight Cups to go search for the Two of Cups to complete your 10. So maybe that's what you're, maybe that's what you're up to, all right? That's beautiful. Eight of Cups is coupled with the Three of Cups. Well, I really do feel like there's definitely going to be some sort of celebration here that comes from you leaving this situation behind or at least making the decision to, to really leave the, decision, the, the, the situation behind and to put that into, into action. Um, this also is resonating as the, the balance between body, mind, and spirit or at least a greater balance in that sense. So that would be definitely influencing you to have the balls, I guess you could say, to walk away from this situation, especially if it is a business situation, like if it's a job or something, um, some sort of commitment. It could be family, I'm hearing. Um, 
to walk away from the situation that's just really toxic or really, really draining. It could take a lot of balls to do that. And as a Libran, um, I do feel like it's kind of difficult for you guys to upset the status quo because you do often like to keep the balance. You like to be the agents too, the ones that do keep the balance. Um, but you can't do that at the expense of yourself, okay? I mean, you can, but you're going to get drained and you're going to get stressed out and you're going to get pains in your back. Like that pain in my back is gone now that I've been talking about this. So it definitely was something that I was feeling for someone that I'm challenging, channeling for, okay? Ooh, but am I challenging you now? By putting in your face something that you have may have been wanting to do for some time? I love you. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you on the first half of your month, Libra, we have the High Priestess. Secrets. Um, I did, again, an energy of keeping to yourself with the Sanctuary card that came out as your Oracle for the month. Um, definitely keeping to yourself, keeping your thoughts, your emotions, your plans maybe to yourself, not really wanting to communicate about them, which is perfectly okay because if you do that, um, if you do communicate about things prematurely, you might leave your, set yourself up to be sabotaged. I mean, I'm not trying to make anybody paranoid, but that's just, it's part of our reality right now, right? Um, but also, this is hidden information. This could be why you really need to take some time to, um, to some time to yourself so that you can connect with the universe and get some downloads here, okay? Yeah, the High Priestess is coupled with the Ace of Swords, getting those downloads, those epiphanies. Um, and also, this could be something that, you know, has been hidden from you for some time. There could be some situations. Okay. All right. So in the realm of love, I'm going to cross this 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 line because this is this is potential here. OK, this is a general reading. Um, so it could resonate with you, but maybe you could be walking away from a love situation, leaving a marriage, leaving a long-standing relationship, leaving a committed, we'll say committed relationship because there's a third party and you finally found out about it. There could be a mistress. Often the high priestess can be can speak to a mistress situation. Now, this is not the type of thing that I usually like to speak towards unless it comes out. I don't go looking for the drama. Who's cheating on who? Blah, blah, blah. We're trying to find someone out. We're trying to like, you know, air their dirty laundry. That's not me. I'm not that kind of reader. If that's what you're looking for, then you have to go to someone else. There are plenty of people out there that will be willing to do that for you. I'm not that one, okay? But I am going to, I'm not going to be that type of person so much that I won't discuss it when it actually is, when I actually do feel like it is part of the, the situation, okay? And that's what I'm feeling right now. Um, the high priestess can, can be a figure that's seen as a mistress. Um, three of cups can be a situation where it's a third party. Um, but you see, tying that back into what I was originally saying in the beginning of the reading with the Three of Cups being the, the balance between mind, body, and spirit, maybe you did know about this for some time, or maybe your intuition was talking to you about this for some time, or you were maybe picking up on it. Um, but now you have the balance within the integrity, says spirit, to honor yourself and walk away. Okay. This really could be a breakup of a family situation. And I'm, that's unfortunate. I, I apologize. I'm sorry if that is something you're going through. But I do believe that what you would be walking towards with this Eight of Cups energy, what you could be walking towards would be much, much better for you. And this could be absolutely a lesson in contrast in what you do and don't want in a relationship. Okay? Your challenge in the first half of the month here, you have the nine of wands. Perseverance. Just keep swimming. Don't give up on yourself. Don't do it, Libra. Don't give up on yourself. No matter what you've been going through. And yes, this has been a really rough situation. Regardless of whether it's a love situation or um, a job situation. It's been rough. Don't give up on yourself. Keep going. But also... 
take this time to rest and heal, to, 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 to go with it, go in hermit mode, potentially. Okay. Sanctuary, find, find some sanctuary where you can sit with yourself, love yourself and heal, recuperate so that you can persevere. Okay. Nine of wands is coupled with the king of swords. Okay. This could be you. Um, uh, officially the kings are the fixed signs and in the air sector, the fixed is Aquarius. So this specifically could be an Aquarius. Maybe you're in a relationship with an Aquarius, um, an Aquarian, um, sun, moon, rising or Venus doesn't matter, but it doesn't have to be the, an Aquarius energy. Okay. And it, um, really could be anybody. Uh, but what I'm seeing here for you, Libra, is, excuse me, is um, keeping your wits about you, staying objective, uh, not letting your emotions get the best of you at this point. And that really could be a challenge right now. It absolutely could be a challenge given the heaviness of this situation. But yeah, the challenge here is not only, at least at this point in the reading, is not only persevering and staying true to yourself, but also keeping a level head. Because that really is going to help you in the end, okay? If you, if you keep a level, a level head. Um, your closing message or potential outcome here for the first half of the month or the first set of this reading, we have the Six of Pentacles. Yes, Libra, Six of Pentacles. Give back to yourself the care and consideration that you've been giving to others. It's time for you to get some. It's time for you to be cared for, to be nurtured for even just a little bit. And actually, I would say more than just a little bit. You need to constantly, you need to be in this constant flow of balancing between give and take. I mean, you know all about balance, Libra. And please excuse the, the manicure, guys. I got to redo them. I'm going to redo them tonight. Eee! But anyway, like in all seriousness, it's time for you to give back to yourself. Okay? Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, potentially a water sign. Um, but this is that, it, this is like that emotional mother, like motherly, you know, love, care, compassion, affection. Potentially there could be a Cancerian that's coming forward towards you to help you balance the scale. If not a Cancerian, it is another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. And if it's not a water sign, which it doesn't have to be, it's someone that is empathic in nature or has that compassion, has that understanding and is willing to help you heal, is willing to help you heal because water often delineates or, or speaks to healing, okay? Moving into the second half of your month here, First set of surrounding energies or just the second half of the reading for your month. First set of surrounding energies. You've got the five of cups. Yeah. There's a breakup coming, isn't there, guys? That potentially there's a breakup coming. But I think once you actually sit down, stop moving, okay, and take some time to yourself what I'm feeling here is that's when you're really going to probably be hit with the sorrow, the guilt, the shame, the remorse, whatever, of whatever this situation is. But it's not like you're going to be, you know, hit with something else to feel sorry about. It's just that I feel like you'll finally be able to process it because you may have really been pushing it to the side to keep up a brave face for whoever it is you're giving to or should I say over giving to, right? Five of Cups is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. Yep, because you've been holding on to this energy. You've just kind of been like stifling it down and it's time for you to work on healing it. Face it and release it, okay? 
also release any sort of guilt that you have around caring for yourself. You deserve a break. You deserve a rest. All right. So take it. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. We have the two of cups. Okay. So maybe there is someone coming in here for you to help you. Or this is you getting balanced within yourself. And looky here, I did say someone potentially could be walking away from this eight, these eight of cups here in order to find their two to complete the 10, which we have in your overall energy. So boop. This also could be the balance within you, integrating the masculine and feminine energies within you. which is facilitated by releasing the guilt, shame, remorse, or whatever that you are experiencing here that you've been holding on to, that you've been holding back, okay? The only way to get through something, the only way to heal something is to feel it and to literally just get through it. Allow, your sign, allow yourself some time to purge, yes? Two of Cups is coupled with the world. So now what this also could be saying is that maybe, yeah, this relationship is coming to an end. I mean, you have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups, which is a 10-10 situation, which delineates completion. And then you have the world, which is a completion. For some of you specifically, this is a situation in which you moving through your emotions and releasing some things potentially releasing your emotions or releasing your fear or whatever it is you've been holding on to for fear of loss will allow someone else to come into your life and complete the cycle. I'm not saying this is per this is someone that's, that's going to complete you. I don't think I really don't I would really, really would never advise anybody to get into a relationship because relationship with someone to feel complete. You got to feel complete within yourself. But for some out there, I'm feeling like this is a, a wrapping up of a cycle that's going to allow a relationship to flourish, a, a, a better relationship to flourish, okay? And if it's not just like better than the relationship you might be coming out of now, it's better than the relationships in the past is, what's, is what I heard, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you have hermit mode, the hermit. Could be a Virgo. Sanctuary. And it's so funny. I was wondering if this card was going to come out. And here we have it. It's time for you to go into hermit mode. It's time to go within, do some soul searching. And that's absolutely what this five of cups and the four of pentacles could be talking about here. All right. Going within to process your pain to finally release it. Okay. Hermit is coupled with the page of cups. Refreshing, bringing a new sense of life to your, to your world. Um, a new, refreshing your emotions is what I'm really picking up on here. Also discovering your emotions. For some of you, this is a situation in which you need to go within to um, find some way to apologize or find some way to allow some sort of reconciliation to happen. Okay. Heal from the hurt and the pain of the past so that you, so that the situation can ultimately be reconciled. Even if it's not just on an energetic level, like even if you don't actually reconcile in person, but you on your own terms or on your own time, in your own way, reconcile with the situation so that it no longer is hurting you, okay? Because I do feel like some of y'all have been really been hurting on to, holding on to some past pain that you have to process and let go of. Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles, all right? Your closing message or the potential outcome here for the second half of your reading, you have the Knight of Swords. Ah, this is your energy here. Or it could be another air sign. It could talk about communication. The Knight of Swords is coupled with, ah, temperance, Sagittarian energy. 
I do feel like there could be some sort of reconciliation that's coming out and coming into the situation for you. I really do. A greater balance here. Greater balance that could lead to some sort of um, honest or blunt communication. Because I do see the Knight and actually the Page of Swords as... Oh, wait, no. The Knight of Swords does, isn't necessarily your energy. I'm thinking Gemini. I see Gemini as like the Knight or the Page of Swords. You are actually, as a Libran, your archetype would be the Queen of Swords. Okay? But it could, it could still be your energy because it's, it's a sword suit here. But I'm seeing greater balance within you that's leading to some sort of truthful or honest communication, maybe in the form of some apology that you may need to make to someone or someone that or being a greater balance that's allowing you to be open for some apology to come in from someone else towards you. Um, but also I'm seeing that there's patience here that's needed during this re-alchemization. There could also be some sort of balancing aspect here or some sort of alchemy that's going on that would ultimately lead you into some sort of communication, whether that be public, like, uh, like public speaking about your experiences with this news perspective that you've gained, okay? But ultimately, Libra, the biggest thing that I want you to take from this reading is to take some time to care for yourself, okay? All right, Libra, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like to get a personal reading into your own situation, please don't hesitate to look down in the description box, find my email and email me. If you can't decide what reading you would like, just go ahead and email me and, and let me know about your, a little bit about your situation and I'll help you decide. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of April. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.